Alright, so sorry I look really bad and I have like no makeup on, but I want to talk to you about gauging your ears. And the first thing I want to talk to you about was the thing I just did, which was go up a size. So I just went from a 4 to a 2, which I have my whole taper kit thing. And going from a 4 to a 2 is like the next size up, so I'm not like skipping sizes. Just the way the number system works, alright? I started at, um, probably about an 8. Yeah, I started at an 8, and then I went to a 6, and then, like, I, I did the sizes how you're supposed to, alright? And I want to give you some advice to going to the next size up. So, first of all, always start at the very beginning which is a 14. Okay, literally, you can put these through, like, you just pierced your ears, and it'll be like, ooh, that's it. So always start at the first size. It goes 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, and double zero. Now, double zero is, doo -doo -doo. if I can get this bag open, like this. Alright. And 14 is like this. Alright. So they will size you up the way you're supposed to. Okay. When you're on the smaller sizes, it's not as big of a deal to wait like two days and then jump up a size but once you get to like going from two to four and up there you need to wait like at least a week it's better to wait like two weeks before between sizes and so when you're putting in the next bigger size I know it's tempting to put ice on it because it like numbs it but ice shrinks heat there's a strength heat makes it like bigger so if you put ice on your ear to numb it it's going to be way harder to get it through so what you want to do is i do it in the shower because it's constant flow of water it's way easier if you do it in the shower you need to pull your hair back so you don't get like hair going through your ear hole take out your other size like hold it like this so the water runs through it like kind of massage it for a little bit and then take the next size and it's hard to do because you're in the shower. This is one of the negatives of being in the shower when you go up a size. It's hard to twist it because it's slippery. You need to twist it as you're putting it through. And then once you get it all the way through and you're like out of the shower, you need to twist it. So it doesn't like, I don't know. It's just better to twist it. Um, so as you can see, this is what a two looks like. kind of hard to see because mm. of the ring that's the size of a two the ring makes it look way bigger that's the size of a two you're always gonna have one ear that hurts worse than the other don't worry about it the other thing about doing going up a size in the shower is your body does weird things when it's in pain or when it's stressing and you probably don't know all of them like, when I get nervous and I stress, I get, like, red patches, like, one on my chest and a whole bunch on my legs. I get, like, red splotches where it's like, hey, you're freaking out. So, if you don't know these things, there's a very high chance that you're going to be in the shower and you're going to be stretching your ears and you're going to look down and your legs are going to be completely red because it's like...